Maintain a positive self-image and confidence is very critical to happiness today. However, for many of us guys today, the constant pressures to conform with really social norms and expectations and really those low expectations that a lot of people have on us men today often leads to feelings of self-doubt, inadequacies, and really just this feeling of why should I even try? But you know what, guys, that is something that is not fit for us as legacy gentlemen. So today I'm going to talk about 10 things that men can do to maintain a positive self-image and build up your confidence. If that's something that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and let's get at it. Hey, I'm Rob Johnson and welcome to the Legacy Gentleman channel. As I started off talking about today, I'm going to give you 10 tips on how to maintain this positive self-image that you have and really how you can work on stuff to help build up your confidence. And here's the first thing I want you to do, and that is I want you to practice self-care. Taking care of your physical, emotional, and mental well-being is essential to maintaining a positive self-image and confidence. This includes getting enough sleep, eating healthy, getting enough exercise, really, and not neglecting your spiritual side. Specifically to me, it's praying, reading the Bible, and understanding God's purpose for your life. See guys, when you take care of your body and your mind, you feel better. It'll give you a boost to your confidence. And so you cannot forget to practice self-care. The number two thing is identify your strengths. See, here's what I want you to do. Rather than focusing on your weaknesses, it's also important that you identify your strengths and focus on making them better. Now look, this isn't all you need to focus on, but it's very clear. For us, sometimes it's hard to find what's good for, about us what's you know unique about us and what we can actually add to the world. So when you actually take time to focus on what your strengths are, it'll help you acknowledge and build your confidence. So sometime today, take some time to identify those unique skills and talents that you use really in your everyday life and make you with an advantage for everything you do, both in your personal and in your professional life. Men, you must identify your strengths. All right, guys, the next thing I want you to do is to set goals and make sure they're realistic. See, look, setting and achieving goals is an excellent way to build your self-confidence and increase your feelings of self-worth. However, it is essential that these be realistic and attainable goals. Those, aren't, those shouldn't be the only goals you have. You definitely want to have stretch goals and things that are going to make you be better than you are today. You need to have a list of some things that you can actually accomplish and have these long-term goals that are going to be stretch goals for you. What you want to do is start with the small thing of setting achievable goals and then celebrating them along the way. This next thing is very important. I want you to surround yourself with positive people and positive messages. See, surrounding yourself with positive people, people who support you, who tell you you can do it, who are always looking on the bright side of life, it's a great way to build up your self-confidence and self-esteem. So yeah, first, look for some friends and family members who are gonna uplift and encourage you. But look, sometimes that's a tough order. So there's a plenty of people who will tell you great stuff about yourself. You want to, as much as possible, surround yourself with positive people, surround yourself with people who are gonna talk positively have a positive outlook on life and make you feel that you can better yourself and that you want to better yourself. And when you get that, you want to be that guy for yourself too. The next thing is to dress for success. Look, that's what I talk about a lot on this channel. I am mentoring people and part of my mentorship program is to help you identify how to dress for success that you're looking for for your personal life. Because what success for a 50 year old or 60 year old is gonna look a little bit different than what it looks like for a 25 year old to a 30 year old. See, dressing well, taking care of your appearance first, boosts your confidence and your self interest. Yeah, you wanna invest in some clothes, but you wanna find the best type of clothes that's gonna pull out the image you're trying to create in the environment you're trying to create and the people you're trying to attract into your life. Looking good it really does build up your pride and your self-confidence in yourself and then other people will notice that you're taking care of yourself. So, dress for success. Man, the next thing you need to do is you need to practice positive self-talk. See, that's a way that you can talk to yourself, 
to have a significant impact on how you see yourself. And it really builds your confidence. So that's how my everyday starts. I wake up in the morning, I read the Bible, I pray, and then I go through a positive affirmation that helps me set the tone for my day and it helps me focus about the good things about me and about life and about the world. So positive self-talk is a great way to do it and it'll help you focus on the positive qualities of your life and the stuff you want to. Another way to build self-confidence is really to learn a new skill. See, learning new skills is all about taking on new challenges and it helps you build confidence and increase your feelings of self-worth. Take a class, read a book, seek out new experiences that challenge yourself to build your skills. By taking on new challenges, you'll push yourself out of your comfort zone. You'll be able to prove that you are capable of accomplishing great things. Guys, the next thing I want you to do is go out there and volunteer for something. See, volunteering is a great way to boost your self-confidence and your self-esteem because you're really helping other people. And when you get out there and help other people, there's two things that happen. Usually, when you're volunteering with people, they're actually appreciative of it. And so you're gonna get people who appreciate seeing you, appreciate the work you do, and they're gonna genuinely thank you because you've taken an interest in them. The other thing it actually does, you actually takes your focus off yourself and when you take your focus off yourself, one of the good things about that is you're not beating yourself up. So when you're looking for opportunities to volunteer, try to find something that actually aligns with your passion because when you're working out your passions, it'll come through in your work. So when you're volunteering, I want you to find something that actually is a passion for you. And when you're working on that passion, it comes through in your work and people can see that you're actually doing something that you care about. And when you're working on that thing that you have this passion for, this thing that fulfills that purpose that God put you on earth for, you understand that you have a value because of this work you do. So guys, if you haven't done it in a while, go volunteer for something. All right, guys, this next thing is very important. I really need you guys to take care of your mental health. Taking care of your mental health is essential to maintaining a positive self-image and building up your confidence. See, if you're struggling with anxiety, depression, or other mental health issues, it really might be time for you to actually seek professional support. It's very important for us as men to realize that it is okay to seek professional help to deal with these emotions that we have so it doesn't blow up into something that society will have to deal with. So guys, Take care of your mental health. And this last thing is something I know I've mentioned before because I am still getting better at it, but not that great at it. And that is celebrate your successes. So make sure you celebrate your successes, no matter how small they might seem to you, because it's 100% true. Celebrating your successes, celebrating your accomplishments, celebrating those little wins will help build up confidence, increase your feeling of self-worth. It'll help increase the worth of the stuff you're doing and help you step back and look at the big picture, how these small steps and small accomplishments actually help work toward that big thing that you're working toward. So yeah, recognizing yourself and your accomplishments will help boost your confidence and self-esteem. So in conclusion, maintaining a positive self-image and confidence is critical to leading a life of happiness, especially for us men. I gave you a bunch of tips that include setting realistic goals, surrounding yourself with positive people, and the most important thing is to actually celebrate your accomplishments. But you know what guys, building self-confidence, it really is a journey. It takes time and it takes help, effort and it also takes persistence. Because, you know, overcoming self-doubt and the negativity that in our lives that led to it is really something that's going to be a struggle every day. The world is going to try and come in and tell you what you can't do and try and hold you down. Honestly, there's a lot more people out there trying to tell you you need their product or you need their service before you actually feel like you're a whole person. I try not to do that here, but I legitimately guys, sometimes we need help from other people and I want to be that help for you. And that's why I'll mention again, I'm looking to mentor people. Yeah, I have a course that'll help you get through it, but I, the 100%, the, the value of the course is your time with me. And I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna talk to you and I'm gonna help you work through your issues and understand you better. So if that's something that interests you, please uh, 
go to my website, or hit me up in the, in the comments or, and we can find a way to actually work. Here's another thing I want you to remember. Everybody struggles with self-doubt and negative self-image from time to time, but it's important how you actually respond to it. And hopefully this video will give you some tools to actually combat it and understand that this is a passive thing and there are a lot of great qualities about yourself and like because you are alive and you're strong and moving and you're just able, you have the opportunity to improve yourself to make yourself the man you want to be. I thank you for stopping by the Legacy Gentleman channel. If you found something in this video useful, please like it. If you want to see more videos like this that's going to help you work on becoming the best you you can be, then subscribe to the channel. And until next time, go be legendary.